We are not material driven. We are not in a revolution for material. You can take away everything. You will never take our souls. And our souls, our souls, our souls remain intact. The political will to liberate our people from economic oppression is what drives us. Not even prison can take away that political will. We will shout economic freedom from the cells if needs be because we are committed to this cause. These sentiments cemented the foundation of the Red Berets in July 2013. This came after the Economic Freedom Fighters was launched by Julius Malema and Floyd Shivambu, following the expulsion of Malema from the ANC in February 2012. In making the momentous decision, they had sought counsel and received the blessing of the late struggle stalwart, Winnie Matigizela Mandela. Their newspaper reported today in the morning that we are going to be expelled and it became the reality. The newspapers are more informed than members of the ANC, than leaders of the ANC. It means this country is run by the media, including the African National Congress. The organization at the time positioned itself around a number of cardinal pillars, including expropriation of land without compensation and tackling the plight of the country's black landless majority. The party wasted no time and contested the 2014 elections. Just one year after its formation, it garnered an impressive 6.35% of the votes, translating to 25 seats in parliament. This placed them as the third biggest party in the country. Five years later, in the 2019 general elections, the EFF maintained its third spot and grew to 10.75% of the vote, which increased its seats in parliament to 44. In addition, in local government elections, the party has seen an increase from 761 to 958 seats between 2016 and 2021 across the country. The party has also made inroads in provinces such as KwaZulu-Natal, traditionally seen as a sphere of influence for the ANC and IFP. Ironically, in Limpopo, the birthplace of the party's founding leaders, there has been a stagnation of support at the polls. For the first time in Parliament, this newbie party held the then-President Jacob Zuma to account by, among other things, chanting hashtag pay back the money in Parliament in 2014 in a bid to get the former President to account for the millions spent towards security upgrades at his Ngandla homestead. The party played a kingmaker role in 2016 in the local government elections when it pushed three Gauteng metros, namely Tsuane, Johannesburg and Ekuruleni, into coalition governments after the ANC fell to under 50% in these metros. Looking at the future, although the party only carries 10% of voter support, Julius Malema has not been shy about his ambitions. I'm going to be president of this country, whether you like it or not. And I'll preside over the affairs of this country, including presiding over you. I think you must start adjusting to that reality. The sooner you do that, the less chest pains you'll have when that reality comes. Kenny Mapanga. SABC News, Johannesburg.